Good morning or afternoon, whenever you are watching this. We just wanted to talk to you about the challenge number four, the alphabet challenge. Thanks a lot for all your submissions. Uh, we've picked a favourite. We particularly liked Miss Day's submission this week or on today, and we thought that that was one of the best ones that we saw. So we've picked that, and you'll be able to see that in the video. Thanks a lot for those submissions, but we're now going to talk to you about a challenge that we've got running all over East and Mr Cochlin. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Mr Pearson. And thank you uh, once again uh, for those fantastic entries for our last challenge. We now have our next challenge, which is the Easter challenge, which is very topical and it's in the news. As most of you probably know, there's been a massive brand new hospital built down in London uh, called the NHS Nightingale Hospital. And they are at the moment appealing for as many people around the country to enter some fantastic artwork to brighten up the hospital and to brighten up all the uh, patients' time uh, while they're in the hospital. So, your challenge over the next two weeks, and you have the four Easter holidays to do this, is to come up with a lovely piece of artwork. As you can see here, this has already been done with, by one of our students here uh, at Bowhunt over the past week. You don't have to be an amazing artist, you can just do some lettering and colour it in. Anything will do, and anything to brighten up the patient's time uh, while they're in hospital. Mr Pearson. So, I think with two weeks now, and a really worthy cause, and a national cause as well, we could probably see a whole load of entries from a whole load of students for this one. Um, you can draw anything, it's just a picture to brighten people's day. If you'd like to go for a theme, you can see that the NHS is quite a popular theme, thanking all of those workers. You could also think about some of the pictures that I've seen in Windows, as I've been walking around Worthing Town Centre of rainbows. So if you wanted to go for a rainbow theme, you could do that, but it's totally up to you what you do. As usual, we're gonna put a link in the Bowhunt Times where you can submit your pictures. You can also email them to us at homelearning at bowhuntworthing.com. Miss Large has put this together and helped us out with this, so a massive thanks to Miss Large as well for supporting this national effort, and we really hope to see a load of your pictures coming in very, very soon. Enjoy your Easter holidays and stay safe. Go get it, guys.